have you been uh, have you been feeling some aches and pains in different parts of your body and you tried all the lotions and potions and rubs and pins and everything else and you still can't find the source of the problem well maybe we can help you here today hello everybody and welcome to the monthly releasing negative emotions show and my name is like michael loge some of you might know me from my books and today i'm here representing my work as a practitioner who can help release negative emotions in your behalf. And I'm here, we're on episode 253. That's 253 episodes! And I'm here with John. Hey, John, say good morning. Good morning, Michael and everyone. Thanks for joining us again. Yeah, super excited to be back here in our monthly show. Uh, I live and love uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and uh, helping people all over the world. Various hey, aches, pains, mental out. health concerns, yeah. <laughs> you know, anxiousness. Uh, but yeah, today we're working uh, our bread and butter here, aches and pains. So we yes. will be looking for volunteers. So yeah. uh, so join us. Tag your yeah. friend. Yes. You know how when you go to a restaurant and you go there because you like their pancakes or their chicken? Well, today you're here because thinking, hey, these guys can help people's physical pain. They live on the west coast of Canada. One of them's on Gilligan's Island. How can they possibly help me? Well, it's called distance healing for a reason. Just, just so you don't think that we're a one chicken shop. We have a full menu of things that we help people with. And we've been doing it for 253 episodes. And we're focusing today on one of the items on our many lists of things that we help. So be sure to check John and I out for further things that we can help you with. And John, today we're looking for two volunteers. Uh, tell our friends what we're looking for, please. Absolutely. Yeah, so we're looking for two volunteers with uh, chronic pain, like, like an unexplained chronic pain and um, a severity. So uh, give us uh, like a location, like where the pain is. Like, yes, I've got left shoulder pain and the severity is an eight so super simple that's basically all we need uh but in the comments and be watching live and uh, that's it but hey if you're just coming to say hello um and the, you know just let us know you're here watching we always love to know who uh, who's joining us yeah let us know in the chat uh listen we're on episode number 253 and we've done everything on this menu list if you're a practitioner check out some of our previous episodes you can go to releasingnegativeemotions.com forward slash live. Also, if you're watching the replay and say, I would love to be live to volunteer, go to that same URL website and give us your email address. And on Friday, the day before the show and today, the day live, we'll let you know so you can get ready and get in the queue. Uh, so just saying hello to everybody and thank you and good morning. And again, if you're watching live, let us know. Jennifer Towner is saying hello. Hey, speaking of saying hello, John, we are, uh, here, here is us on LinkedIn. So we are live on LinkedIn, if that's your format. We're also live on my YouTube channel, and we're live on two of my Facebook groups. So we are Omni Media. That means we're everywhere. <laughs> and the purpose of this episode, or this, this uh, yeah, these shows that we do, is to let you know that we can help, and we want to be your practitioner, and we want to demonstrate today how we can help people relieve their pain the goal is to get rid of it but you know what if we can relieve it during a facebook live poof, i think you're in john set it up for our friends today and I, I know you said it once just a reminder give people an example they might say oh, i've got shoulder pain what does that really mean in our terms go ahead yeah so like an unexplained chronic pain you know just soreness that is just there all the time uh, maybe it comes and goes as well but you've had it for you know, years and years and years, and uh, you know, you've tried everything. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what to do. Um, you know, that's who we help. A lot of the time, there's suppressed emotions that are lodged in your body. We'll get into that. We'll explain. We'll yep. explain it in a minute here. And uh, it's us to find out. You know what all that energy is that bottled up, clear it, and to help relieve you of this these aches. So, um, yeah. That's what we're doing today, looking for two volunteers. Okay, good stuff. I'm just getting something ready here, Joined to share. Uh, so uh, here's what we're going to do today. We are going to go through our interpretation of the work because it's kind of hard to explain to people, right? Hey, what, you know, we can't put a billboard and say, hey, we can, we can fix your neck with the magnet over Zoom. Yeah, it doesn't work on a billboard or anywhere, actually. So um, that's why <laughs> we're here today. And we want to thank everyone that's trusted us and hired us, has got great results. and. Of course, then we get another client from another client and so on. So that's how we build our business, starting with today. 
Before we do that, I'm just going to do a quick little promo here. Uh, it's oh yeah. So I just put the uh, the link to my book Law of Attraction real quickly. Uh, I sold four million copies, thirty seven languages. Interviewed by Oprah Winfrey four times. Had my own radio show on the Oprah Network for a year, and I got a warehouse of books uh, that I'm getting rid of, <laughs> and you are going to be the beneficiary of that. Uh, $100 for 20 Law of Attraction books. Do the math. Do it. Do the math. So the link to that went to the right-hand side there. It's michaelloche.com. Give books, and we can get those shipped out to you uh, right away, like probably work day on Monday. So mm. uh, let me help you. Have a good Christmas. And $5 books. There, I did the math for you. $5 books. Really? Change your life. Okay, John, uh, let's see. One more reminder. If you want to be on the list to be notified, the address is spinning on the bottom there. If you want to learn more about John and I, it's on the same page. If you want to find out where we're at in Facebook and so on, it's on the same page. Hey, go to that page. Everything's there. We're just going to let it appear one more time. www.releasingnegativeemotions.com. Okay, that's going to make me a little dizzy, so we're going to turn that off, Michael Oje. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, John, we're ready to uh, talk about the process today. And um, Jennifer Towner, let's help Jennifer. Uh, John, let's, let's see what Jennifer has to say and find out what you need from her. Yeah, Jennifer Towner says, uh, I am uh, in big pain. So uh, let us know where, Jennifer, and the severity of it, a little context. Yeah. Keep it simple. That's... Uh, that's all we need, yeah. That's right. A few more hellos here. Uh, Natasha Paula Samuel is with us. Hey, Natasha. As always, hey, Natasha. Uh, Kim Whitner's here, says hello. Been a long time. We've got some friends in a Facebook group. We're going to show you what it looks like to us. Uh, you're saying hello. We're acknowledging you. Sorry, it feels like we're on The Masked Singer or something. <laughs> you're, you're, on, you're the masked guest today. Uh, one of the groups yeah. doesn't send the pictures over. Uh, yeah, Kim Whitner is with us. Hello, Kim. Sandra yeah. Mitchell. Wow, everyone's coming out of the woods. Well, Sandra, nice to have you back with us today. Thanks, uh, Sandra. There yeah. you go. And we're looking for another sure. volunteer. If you're watching, you've got aches and pains, let us know. John is getting some information from uh, Seattle oh, Room. There we go. I, I was actually in Seattle uh, last weekend. This is a great time. There you go. John, I'm going to let you, uh, not let you, you can uh, collect information from Jennifer there and you can work with Jennifer today. Yeah. And, uh, we'll Which set. side, Jennifer? Yeah. Left, right, or both. Consistent. Seven out of ten. Yeah, good. So while Jennifer is doing that, again, we need the information. And I'll tell you why we need the information. Because on your behalf, we're going to find out what's causing the pain. John, on their behalf, makes us become their... Proxy. So uh, I'm the practitioner. Jennifer is the recipient of this. And I act as a pra proxy on her behalf. Connect up. And I'll, I muscle test to find out where these you know, suppressed trapped emotions are and I'm muscle testing through the emotion code chart here, two columns, six rows. So I say column A, column B, odd row, even row, and we narrow it down uh, to one emotion at a time to find it and clear it with a magnet. So the magnet amplifies my intention to release the emotion, that little ball of energy that's stored somewhere in her shoulder. It just gets vaporized, released when I take a magnet and, and just swipe it over the governing meridian a few times. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. We're going to come back to that. We're going to, John's going to set up and do a session with Jennifer. Uh, just real quickly, Natasha is helpful here. Uh, I have a video on muscle testing in case you want to explore how to do that on your own. You can go to michaellogier.com forward slash muscle testing, just like clockwork. Thank you, Natasha, for hanging out with me today. Now, I just want to do a quick little law of attraction training session just to kind of get us on board and why it's so important that we understand. I'm going to show you a little model here, you know. And this, uh, this faucet is really showing what's stopping us from allowing more. Oh, do you want more money? There's a lot available, but what's causing this handle to, to keep it from flowing? So whether it's an ideal customer or client or more money or more customers or more or anything, there's always a lot available, right, John? This is, there's, there's reservoirs available, but it's not what you're allowing. The speed at which you're allowing anything isn't determined by how much is available. It's determined by how much resistance you have in receiving it. Now, John, look what we have here. First, we have doubt. But what mm -hmm. we help you with is 
the trapped emotions. Listen, honestly, when I wrote my book, this did not exist because we didn't know about trapped emotions 21 years ago, that 20 years mm -hmm. ago. And now, because I've been teaching a lot of attraction my whole life, and I've been helping people change their mind, which changes their, their you know, what they give attention to, it changes their vibe. But until Big Bertha comes out, which is my magnet, my, I name my magnet, that's what's going to delete the emotions that are causing, uh, the trapped emotions that are causing. That's what we do. And when we delete the emotions, that loosens your resistance. And just like a faucet, when you loosen your resistance, you allow more. The speed at which you can attract everything is determined by how much you resistance. We are the resistance remover. Doubt's one of the reasons why it's a negative vibration. Negative vibes, obviously, are, see that red handle? It looks like a minus symbol for a reason because it's a negative resistance. So imagine, uh, so I'm demonstrating that to say whether it's a money block or a relationship block or a customer block or whether it's physical pain like today, it is caused by these buggers right here. So uh, I'm just going to recap. John is going to start to get connected with his process and become the process, uh, the, sorry, the um, proxy for Jennifer. There we go. Jennifer has uh, shoulder pain on the right side, can't sleep on it. And uh, there's an ominous as well. And it's a seven out of 10. And yep. it's uh, consistent. So let's see what we can do here. So I'll connect up Jennifer Towner, JT from Seattle. So I'm just going to transport uh, down to Seattle for a minute here. Tune in, connect up Jennifer, proxy, 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 yes. Good. Okay. So we're finding out uh, what's the severity of this? Shoulder pain, numbness, dysfunction. Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Okay, is it a four or less? No, at least a five, yeah. Is it 10, nine, eight, seven? So I got seven or six or seven somewhere in there. That yeah, she says me. her conscious mind saying yeah. seven, so they agree. Yeah, they agree. Yeah, so there's a trapped emotion we can identify and clear to reduce, eliminate this pain. Right shoulder, allow this area to heal. Yeah, so trapped emotion, is it in column A? No, so it's in column B, odd row. Yeah, even row, just double checking, no. So B, odd row, so it's gonna be one or three. Yes, or five, five, no, so it's B3. So the first one, confusion, no. Defensive, maybe, grief, self-abuse, stubbornness, no. So it's the second one, defensiveness. Do we need to know more about this? No, so we can clear defensiveness. Now release that defensiveness so the whole process surfaces that little ball of energy magnet clears it out so it's gone okay another trapped emotion jennifer associated with this pain causing this pain yes is in column a b so it's a odd b, a even two is it four so it's a two it is a two Disgust. Yeah, release disgust. Let's let go of that. Release, yeah. Another trapped emotion. Yes. B. I'm just asking in my head because that's kind of what a, it's habit. Okay, so be odd. No, so it's B246. Yeah, we, don't, we only talk out loud for the client. We don't really need to. <laughs> Is it first? Yeah. Is it lack of, it's lack of control? Lack of control. Let's clear that now. Again, every time John's swiping, he has a magnet. The magnet's strong enough to dilute the energy and John doesn't want to take it on and the intention. So that's what the magnet's for again. Any kind of magnet, you know, I got a chunky one. You can use a fridge magnet or one in your piece of jewelry. Yeah, uh, unsupported. So it's release unsupported. There's another trapped emotion. Severity of this shoulder pain, numbness, dysfunction. Is it still a seven? No. Okay, five or four. Two, so two, trapped emotion. Heart wall emotion. So there's a heart wall emotion contributing to right shoulder pain. So I got, there wasn't, I, I muscled, I asked a question in my head, is there another trapped emotion? I got a no. So then I just go right to heart wall because why not? Uh, your intuition told you to do that, probably. <laughs> it's 
Um, it's very common. Uh, heart walls to contribute to like discomfort anywhere, kind of like shoulder as well as the heart, right? And yeah. relationships and um, just about anything. I've seen heart wall implicated just every single symptom you can you know, think of. Just, yeah, it's so not it's, just about the heart. It could affect yeah, something else. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a heart wall emotion and it's insecurity. Release that. There's another heart wall emotion. No. Severity of this discomfort, pain, dysfunction. Is it zero? No. Another trapped emotion, maybe? Heart wall? There's a trapped emotion. A little bit of digging here. So we're back to a standard common trapped emotion now, A, B, odd, or even. So we're back to B3. Self abuse. I just love clearing self abuse. That's the negative self talk. Yeah. So release, 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 release. It's release. Yeah, severity. Are we going up? Is it a three now? Is it a two? Is it a one? One or higher? No. Is there more to clear? No. Okay, so I got zero. That's a good round out. Jennifer, sort of wiggle around. Give and an update uh, in the chat. Yeah. Give me an update. Uh, how are things feeling? Uh, a number would be wonderful. And stuff. So again, uh, you know, you hear John and I use a lot of numbers because we have to measure our work. When, when I say, how does it feel when someone says, oh, it feels better. Well, if it was an eight and now it's a seven, that's better. Better's not good enough for us. That's why, what's a number? If it's a one or a two or a three, let us know because then we know we need to kind of dig a little bit more and reframe the question like you heard John did was kind of, he had to chase around and found out it was a heart wall. So yeah, we like to know what the numbers are. So severity is very important in our work. Uh, while we're waiting for a response, I just want to let some of my practitioner friends uh, show you something in the chat here. There is a free course that I have. It's for practitioners. And it is the script, the word for word script and a video on what you need to say as an emotion code practitioner. So you can delete a specific food or drink item from somebody forever. I've done over 300 or worked with over 300 people with a specific food or drink item and got rid of it forever. Practitioners, what a gift. You know, when you leave the restaurant at the very end, they kind of give you like a fortune cookie or they kind of give you a little quickie thing at the end and you leave and thinking, oh, I love that. What if this was your fortune cookie? What if at the end of a session you said, hey, I noticed we've got three minutes. Yes, you can do it in three minutes. Hey, I see we've got three minutes. Can you think of a food or drink item that you'd like? Like what? How's that for a fortune cookie? And what if you gave that to them? And then the first session, the next session you had, that's all they talked about was, holy, you know what? I cannot believe I've never wanted one of those again. Be the hero, help you and your family for free. Take this course, it comes with a video and a worksheet. That is the place to do it right there. I've had, and listen, I'm not working on myself. And if I can get rid of food and drinks forever, I was there, first I would get, first I get rid of everything that wasn't water, right? So then I was drinking soda water because that was what? It's water, not soda water, but carbonated water. And I never thought I'd get rid of that. That was my treat. Oh, are you kidding me? I'd put it in a wine glass if I had to. And then about two months ago, I just said, I think I was going to recycling with like 48 cans. And I thought, look what you're doing. And then on the way back in the elevator, I deleted the interest in soda water and I haven't had one since. Mm -hmm. I know. You can do that too with your customers and clients. Take it, it's for free. Yeah, chocolate, ice cream. Yes. And Great you know what's interesting, here. John, with the, um, uh, with the food items, you know, you know me, I like to research and ask a lot of questions. So when I find out that, oh, so it's anger that's causing you or disappointment or humiliation, I can, uh, here's my new question. Was I eating a chocolate chip cookie while I had that emotion? And the answer is always yes. Yeah. Yeah. And a quick little story. So I worked with a woman. She wanted to get rid of two things. She said, but they're connected. And I said, well, pick one. She said, well, it's ice cream and chocolate cookies. She goes, can I do two? I said, no, the rule is you pick one. I was doing a lot of people for free. She said, but it's the connection. So at, while I was muscle testing, <laughs> you know what? She was eating an ice cream sandwich in the back uh. of the car. And there was something uh, actually in the street. And that's where she got that emotion. So it indeed was eating ice cream and a cookie at the same time. I would have never figured that out on my own. No. Uh, let's get an update here, John, if you want to check the screen out. Yeah, Jennifer's saying, saying feeling okay so far. Three, 
I think it is less tingly. So three out of 10, I did connect up and, and well, I, I tested again and I got, that's it for now, that that's the round. So your body needs some time to, to clear it out, process it, and maybe just give it some time. So times are our friend in this kind of thing too. So yeah. maybe through, you know, later in the day, it'll uh, just get better and better. Yeah. And here's my cartoon interpretation of that. It's like, you know, you're having a party, you kicked out all the negative people. It's like, okay, all the negative people are gone. You can come out now. So like the party's starting to loosen up because the negative people went, which is negative emotions. Yeah. Uh, Anna S. Ben, she's giving me some good compliments today. She said she's a practitioner and would love to have the information, learn more about that. I think if you look up above your comment, the link to that is there. Uh, while John's talking, I'm going to go get the link and put it in the chat as well. John, tell our friends when we hang out here and uh, what they need to do or could do to get to be part of the uh, event. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're here the first Saturday of every month, uh, live, Facebook, YouTube, going on LinkedIn as well. And, you know, we used to do it um, you know, every week, but uh, now we're coming in, making it uh, a big event once a month. And we, we'd love you to join us next time as well um which will be january new year yeah i'm doing a special event on clubhouse on new year's day for four right. out for four hours yeah. four hours yeah. my life wow. is simple you know that right so i don't have yeah. you know someone said am i decorating for christmas if i get a christmas card i might put it on my desk but my life is very simple so over the holidays, I can get pretty bored, right? I'm, I'm restless. I'm, what am I going to do? So I thought, oh, I'll fix that. I'm going to go do a four-hour clubhouse event. And the event is called, uh, if you're watching and you want to get the link, just send me a private. Some of you might be watching this two years down the road. But if it's current and you're watching this in 2022, January 1st, 2023, a four-hour clubhouse event, you know what my goal is? 100 people. Ooh. I'm going to work with 100 people in four hours. And the theme is... Making 2023 goals, let me delete your resistance and procrastination. Mm. Yeah, I know. So uh, I don't, I think I can do that. <laughs> I'm a machine. I just need to wake up and fresh and eat well and have a good morning and maybe do some of my own emotion code work, get grounded. I'm gonna have people on the line helping me with all of that, so. Nice, yeah, that's a good goal. Good. So, uh, you know, John and I are both available. I'm going to put John's website up there, John. I'm just going to hide my picture away from that. And then if you want to let people know the experience and they've been thinking, well, what do they do? Go ahead, please. Yeah, absolutely. So my website is aliveandpeer.com and I've online scheduling there, you know, even at releasing negative emotions.com. Yeah, you can find both Michael and I there. We have online scheduling. So it's super easy. It, calendar op opens up, you find a time, a day that works for you and, and schedule it. And then we can send you a link. So we can have a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, over a video like this on Zoom. Uh, if you don't like the video, uh, phone works as well. And even if you're busy and just can't find a time or the time zone doesn't, uh, you know, what work for you. Uh, you can just email us a list of concerns. We'll work on you uh, and let you know uh, that we did send you uh, the session notes. And so, yeah, if you're busy with family, whatever it may be, um, email sessions are actually really, really popular as well. Um, and love to help you with, uh, you know, your aches and pains, uh, mental health concerns. Uh, I'm back here. And, um, yeah, even uh, procrastination yes. has been super popular with my clients these days, uh, helping people, you know, increase that motivation and, and clear out those blocks, preventing them from, you know, doing whatever they want, it, whether it being tidy up around the house or business blocks. Uh, emotion code is awesome for procrastination. It is. I want to tell you about a story. I'm working uh, with a dad via his two boys, uh, seven and 12, and they lost their mom when really young so mm -hmm. and the boys were distant and they fought together and the older one never left his room and didn't have any goals and it was like, Woo. so first things first the heart wall mm. so in uh so uh I, in in one session i connect it with and the kids don't have to be there right they're out playing or in the mm -hmm. room in this case and via the dad's permission i was able to connect with 
both of them, and they had heart walls with each other and with their dad, right? Mm -hmm. And with the world. So I got a heart wall with my dad. And imagine being the dad and hearing this, but he was so grateful because he said, that's exactly what's going, like he was, he was so happy to get help. And even yeah. in the first session, he goes, I've never been so helpful ever. He said, I don't know how to help my boys. So, so yesterday we met again and he, the dad was just beaming. And he said, his son's coming out of the room now and engaging and him and the brother are getting along and he's just so that, and they don't know the difference, but the dad's observing because he knows the difference. So that's really pleasing. So if you have kids that are having some kind of challenge, you know, behavior challenge or mental challenge, or they're not talking or, or they're fighting with everybody they're you know, these are heart walls. This is an old unprocessed emotion that you have, that they're having with somebody, you know, my, I'd like to guarantee our, my results because law of attraction kicks in. You know, law of attractions, here's the vibrational bubble for everybody. Law of attraction states, it's always matching your vibration. And when your vibration changes, so does what you're getting. And John and I, we have a unique ability. Not only can we help you change your vibe, but what you're thinking about, we can all do that, but we can delete these negative emotions that are inside your vibration. And by mere virtue of deleting a negative vibration, now your overall vibration becomes more positive and you cannot not attract more things because the balance of your vibration is higher. So this is my soliloquy here for relationships. The response that you're getting from other people, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, uh, clerk, uh, boss, brother, sister, the response that you're getting from someone else is matching the vibration that you're sending about them. I know it's your own vibration. And John and I have the ability to find out what is this old emotion that you're having with this person and this person and this person and customers, because that's the vibration that you're sending unknowingly. Listen, swallow this pill. If you're attracting it, you had to have sent the vibration that created it. But we are vibrational busters. And we can go in and delete the vibrations that are causing all of that. And we'd love to help. Okay. Uh, Natasha Polisami, she's been with us like every day for five years. She knows me so well. New Year's yeah. Day, Michael, your favorite day of the year. It's my favorite day. I've been doing things on New Year's Day for 21 years. Yeah. And I always make a big deal about it. Oh. Hang out with me. Be one of the 100. I'm just looking in the chat again. We've got John's Alive and Pure address out there. Uh, I think we did it, John. Uh, yeah, I think so, so, too. Yeah, so let's recap. We Our goal is to show people and have people understand there's an alternative way that they can get help without leaving their house. And we did that today. And uh, I know uh, she'll be back next month and uh, or give us an update before then, maybe update the chat in Facebook so people can follow along. Yeah. Okay, everybody, uh, we will see you on the first Saturday of January, whenever that is. Because <laughs> January 1st is on a Sunday, right? Yeah, so it's the, yeah. So it's the, probably the 7th or. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everybody, thanks yeah. for hanging out. John, thanks for being here today again. Uh, we did a good job, and you got to uh, help Jennifer Towner via a, a Facebook Live call. You got to love her life. We'll yeah. see you later, everybody. Have a great day, everyone.